Now let's just say whatever the hell we want. <laughs> Turbo whatever boner. Whatever the hell I want. <laughs> there, I said it. Do I get a cookie? Yes, you do. Yeah, I get a cookie. <laughs> it's an M&M no, cookie. Oh, good. I haven't had those in a while. <gasps> yeah, God. Like, there's chocolate chip cookies, but there's something special about M&M cookies. Maybe it's But because... there's only one peanut butter blossom. <laughs> Well, you no, can have your peanut those... butter blossom. <laughs> you can have what them about too. what about ch chocolate chunk M and M cookies? God damn, that sounds like that'll give me diabetes, dude. It does. They all it's give you diabetes. No, it's like ch chunks of chocolate with M and M's in the cookie. Oh shit, it's amazing. I, I mean, I guess if you like that much texture in your cookie, <laughs> it's do. all about the texture, boys. You got to remember that. It, I love soft cookies. See, I don't like having stuff in my ice cream, for example, unless it's Reese's. <laughs> you don't even like cookie dough? Nah. I mean, I'll eat it, but nah, I'm not a big fan. Mm. I like my ice cream smooth. The <laughs> turbo bag of boner assholes. What the fuck? <laughs> turbo boner. <laughs> I'm currently looking at something here. Apparently, uh, there was a question given to Jim Miller, I think, and this is regarding uh, Crusaders of the Lost Mark. Sorry to change the subject. Um, did you ever have any ideas or pitches for a Silver Spoon-focused episode? And the answer was, yep. An executive at Hasbro told us after we pitched over some stuff for Silver Spoon and Diamond Tiara that they felt their story was over. That's what I said. <coughs> That's why we haven't seen much of them. That is a stupid way to end. Oh my god. I am withholding myself so much. But that's sad with the moon. Yeah, so I'm not going to do that. Okay. Okay, okay mm -hmm. I'll sit on Golden's head while he chills out. Question for Bliss. From one artist to another, how does one make something look like that it's inspired by another? Like character design, fashion design, etc. Processing is not working on this one. Help. Someone break that question down for me. I think the question is like, how do you make other people's art? Huh? I think it's like... Um, you know, uh, that... I'm having uh, some trouble, too. That, this is giving me an aneurysm. That does not compute. That one cool also. Could you try rephrasing your question? Because me, me no process. It does not compute. Does not compute. Guys, Game Hunter just said just like a Why me plus dot exe has stopped working. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, just like us. constantly the hourglass okay. is hovering over bliss and it's like spitting every few seconds. <laughs> do, 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 do. Loading, 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 loading. 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 <laughs> Crash. <laughs> Bong. And the eyes are blue screen. Ask uh, also <laughs> with MLP over. What will you guys be doing now? Ah, 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 ah. I'm gonna rephrase you, my 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 friendly companion. MLP is not over. My Little Pony Generation Four is coming to an end. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. it. That's all that's ending. MLP, in a nutshell, is not ending. Can't me and my much kid cannot begin to stress that enough. How many times we've had to tell people MLP we have a is Gen not ending. Five underway. We have a Gen 5 underway, and there's still a buttload of content to review. I, I can't tell you how many times I've had to say that. Yep. But, but You know what yes. would be funny? If they did a season 4.5, a series point four point five, like they if did 3.5. Well, if they do that, if they do that, I would suggest, <laughs> if they did that, I would suggest having them focus on, like, the young six. Because that seems more like a way of passing the torch of Elements of Harmony. That sounds more like 3.5. <laughs> what do you not like the students do you not like the young six no like you i know. like the young six more than i like the main six to be Oof. honest yikes i think i do yeah Oof. i mean, I was making a joke because of season 3.5 and the scootaloo and yes that's yes i may know what you have originally meant to but you still didn't phrase yourself right and that could have really upset a lot of people so sorry to correct you but it needed correction. <laughs> uh, 
but that being said, just because G4 is ending does not mean I'm not going to stop reviewing episodes. There's a buttload of episodes I wanted to touch back on, like uh, the one with feather bags. I have a big special I want to do for that. Um, mm. <clears throat> let's oh. see. I I want to review the Rainbow Bright G1 series at some point. It's some, some original 80s cartoons like Pirates of Dark Water and... Yeah, um, some 90s cartoons Pirates like Dark Water. Bring yeah. some of that stuff that I didn't know about it and bring it to the current public. I'm all down for that. Or Thundar the Barbarian. That was a cool cartoon, I thought. That was real? Yeah, Thundar the Barbarian. You never heard yep. of him? I, heard I remember him specifically because there was him, uh, a woman, I forgot, I think it was her name was Tara. Tara. Uh, kind of, she was kind of like an Amazon one. It was Riley, of some what sort. the hell Not did Wonder you link now? I just... Um, and there was this alien cat man, and they all they all traveled the, this alien searching for evil doers or something. Very bizarre looking horse. It had like a beak and cat like eyes. And Riley, you son over. of a bitch. <laughs> the horse barely makes it over the ravine. It's clinging onto the edge for dear life, and the catman basically smacks it in the butt to get it up on top of the ravine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, get up, you damn horse! <laughs> I'm like, I, oh, 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 okay, he's up. <laughs> just for the record, whatever the hell Riley has posted in there, like I've seen what it is. I am not going to share it on the screen because I don't want to give <laughs> YouTube viewers any nightmares. <laughs> the, the reflect the representations of oh god <laughs> the reflection of surprise do not represent the golden box channel <laughs> the fuck is wrong, you know the thing that Put i put a time out yeah, Riley, you go in timeout. I will give time out. I will give this uh, credit to this because I thought this was such a clever troll move during season three. Um, uh, too many Pinkie Pies. There's that moment where Pinkie's like, "Bet you can't make your face like this," and it's a G3. I'm like, "Oh God!" <laughs> I almost yeah. thought it was a G1, but I'm like, "No, that that that's that G3. was G3. That, that was very G3." Uh, yeah, like the, like the writers and the people producing it. Like, I I know what you did. I know what, I you, know what did. you did. Guilty. Shame on you. Guilty. <laughs> Everybody's just condemning me in the chat. They, yeah, they should. should. As they should. <laughs> I it is going according to plan. Sorry, but <laughs> but in all what you did, I'll pay the price. But in, all, the price. <laughs> but in all seriousness, with G4 ending, yeah, you know, like there's still plenty of material to work with. Like I've already talked about this in a previous podcast. We may talk yeah. more about it as I do plan on making um making a topic uh, discussing the rest of Season 9, mostly the second half. Um, yeah. Because, like, even after that, there's still, like, an impact that would definitely leave us to, you know, talk about a lot of things. And, you know, the more I talk about it or bring it up now, the more I'm just going to dive into the subject matter of just the show itself. And that would just... Oh, mm -hmm. okay. The guy just fixed this question. Sorry, sorry. Oh, go ahead. Oh, okay. Are you sure? Yeah, no, like I, I think I've I think I've ended my piece there. Like I, I can get okay, carried I, away. I, I felt <laughs> like I cut you off. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. Okay. okay. Um what I meant to say, for example, there is a character design that I like and I want to replicate it without looking like I've stolen the set design. Kind of like borrowing. No such thing. There is no <laughs> oh, such thing. Right. Now now hear me out, hear me out. I really wanted to replicate Disney style into my artwork because I like the eyes and I like the noses being used. I like the realis the realistics of it, and yet it still retains a cartoon like it's exterior. A, it's a nice in between. Look yeah. at this stuff, so, isn't it neat? Shut up! I'm trying to get to my point. <laughs> my point is, is that I could never fully replicate it because, well. It's not my style. My style continues to show up no matter what I do. Now, I have found... I have multiple styles, I discovered. I, I have a lot of styles that reflect from other art pieces that I've seen before. From chippy, to realistic, to serious, to comic, to emoji even. Yeah, I'm not kidding on that department. Um, anime eyes. Yeah, you get the idea. From realistic to super skinny, cartoony. Yeah, I, 
you, you get what I mean. My point is, is that now I've settled on this one style and I hope I keep it with me for a long time because it does give that Disney feel that I like, but still very cartoony, like with the big eyes and the big goofy mouths and still having kind of realistic body types for horses. Um, it's never a good idea to copy another style and then say, oh, you're just borrowing it. Yeah. If, if you if you start copying somebody else's work, like line from line, design design, people are gonna notice and they're gonna ask, "What's your real style?" Now it's okay to take other styles or be inspired by other styles and work them into your own. That's what I've done. <clears throat> so originally, I I mean I could show you some of my oldest work where I used to do hardcore graphite shading, and that's what. Uh, Xenomorphs, I've seen, I think Goldens have seen my older work. Um, like, there's that scary alien monster bliss that I drew for a, uh, a horror contest at one point. That was from, like, my older days. <laughs> um, and now I do more cutesy woozy Disney style. Well, directly copying and tracing over people's work, yes, that is illegal. Yeah. <laughs> to say that you drew an anime style of Vegeta and it looks super accurate, but you never traced it, you did it through reference. In other words, you took a visual reference and you tried to copy as close as you could without directly copying over it. Get what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. That's not copying. That's r using visual reference. I also want to add that when it comes to people, even professionals, they still use references <laughs> for anything. Yeah. I mean, and and here, I got another good example for you. Animators. Animators have to learn to replicate styles all the time or they don't get a job. For instance, I went to, up to my professor one day and showed him a character I drew for one of my stories I was working on. And he said, oh, yeah, that's very good. Draw Scooby-Doo. What? <laughs> Draw Scooby-Doo. Uh, you can't, can you? No. He's like, that's what I mean. And then he turns to the rest of the class. He wasn't using me as an example. Everybody's jaws kind of dropped when he said that to me. <laughs> <laughs> he, he said, that's why you're here. Animators have to learn on the ball new styles of character designs from Disney to Don... Don Bluth to The Simpsons, Futurama, Steven, Universe. Um, you have to know how to replicate styles if you're going to be an animator. Or you're not going to keep your job. <laughs> <laughs> and they don't do it through tracing. They go on, they, they learn on the fly. They, they, they practice, they replicate repetition, repetition, until they finally get it down to the way the designs were meant to be seen. Does Directly trace tracing over other people's artwork is illegal. Yeah, it, like some of you are kind of repeating questions at this point. Yeah. I mean, isn't that why I, they I'm make, telling like... you all right now, do not directly trace over other people's work and then claim it to be your own. That's copyright infringement. Yep. Ye. But it's okay to take an image... Like, let's say I'm working in Photoshop. It's okay to take an image, like Twilight, put it on the side for me to look at while I draw my own character of her. I'm not tracing over it or close to accurate enough. <laughs> but I did not directly <laughs> trace or copy other people's work. No, that's illegal. All right. Well. Oh, Ooh, it got serious. <laughs> yep. Yeah. So, to catch you up on what we were talking about in the podcast, we were talking about Frozen 2, um, uh, any moments that we had during Halloween, and um, the recent Steven Universe called Steven Universe Future that was aired, like, just yesterday. Yee. So, yeah, I don't think any of this stuff would have caught your interest. Uh, Frozen 2, actually, I admit I am curious about it because... The, the amount of animation going into it has caught my attention. 
Just because it's not 2D does not mean I don't take interest in the 3D. It's still a form of art. Oh, no, I don't I don't turn down CG animated movies, you know? Yeah. I, I still anticipate to them. It's just that when people say, like, 2D coming back, like, as much as I would want to see actual traditional Disney Renaissance animation coming back, it's, mm -hmm. like, I... Unless I legit see a trailer or something of actual proof, I'm not going to believe what even the creators say. Because I know that there's an article about it, and we've already talked about it in the, like before. <laughs> yeah, I should also rephrase that. It's okay to trace over other people's work if it's just for practice, and you give credit to the original artist. Mm -hmm. That's okay. Don't claim it as your own, though. Otherwise, mm -hmm. you're fine. But don't claim it as your own. Anyway, going back to going back to that. Um, it's fair. I'm curious about the Frozen Two movie. I just hope they don't over hype it like the first one. See, I actually liked the first one. It had some flaws. Yeah. Like so I think the biggest flaw it had was uh, the music. They read out of good songs, and that's mostly what the movie had a problem with. Too many songs, and I, <coughs> some of them were there. actually. Mm -hmm. Some of them were really good. Some of them were really good. And then the, the ones that were coming up last, they kind of sucked. And um, I, I loved some of the funny quirks that Disney had where the uh, Elsa, Elsa? Elsa. Yeah, Elsa. Elsa says, fine, you can't marry someone you just met. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> No, as far as oh, like, I was clapping. I was definitely like, no, I'm definitely um, on the same boat with you about having too many songs. The song that I like, I, I went on a tirade about it earlier. I can't stand the troll song. No, nah, me neither. The one where, oh, you two are made for each other, because it was at such a bad time. Like I said, they ran out of good songs. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. And the problem with Frozen was that okay. I'm gonna say it right now. I think it, I thought it was a pretty decent movie. Was it overhyped? Yes. Oh yeah. Was well, here's it, the thing: did the song be... overplay oh. over and over and over and over and over? Yes. Well, Blissey, to be <laughs> fair, like, we started. Hello. Like it, it, like it completely the caught clock, Disney yeah. off guard because they couldn't, they didn't have enough frozen toys in the shelf as they were expecting <laughs> to sell. And so there was a frozen grab for like the holidays that season. Like so many stores sold out of frozen merchandise because Disney didn't produce enough because they didn't think it would be that big a hit. <laughs> Oh my god. I think that's it's, kind of like I think that happens with almost any movie that you make and it becomes this big hit and you're no, like, oh like, god. They learned their lesson after that. They now they It's almost it. like they don't movies. care about their princess movies anymore. And I'm like, hey Disney, it's okay to have new ideas. That's fine, but don't don't backhand the stuff that got you famous in the first place. The princess stuff is still good. Just mm -hmm. gotta come up with new ideas. I still stand by the claim that the Princess and the Frog got an unfair, like, box office oh, reception. Pre oh, you're preaching. Oh, it preach did. it. Preach yep. it. Preach yeah. it. Yep. <laughs> and at this you point, know. I, at this point, sorry, at this point, oh, I'm not blaming the squeakquel, because I used to blame that movie for years, because that movie grossed almost three times at the box office than the Princess and the Frog did, and I was like, what's wrong with you people? But no, it's because of its marketing. Like, this is both the audience and the marketing fault. They didn't market it as well. They didn't market it too much. And people had this perception of, oh, it's a princess movie, so that's a movie for girls, and they completely shrug it off. That's why it didn't uh, do too well. Mm -hmm. And I'm sitting there thinking, you're an idiot! You missed out on what you wanted for years! And that's this is how you're going to pay them, repay them back? Uh, you are fucking stupid! But you'll you go ahead and see Tangled. Yeah. You know that movie came out at just the right time for me, The Princess and the Frog? And, and I'll explain why. I was in college when it came out. So was I. And the one, the one big song that I teared up at, and it was supposed to be a motivating and happy song, but I teared up on it because I almost needed there. to hear this. I'm almost there. Yep. People will come from everywhere. everywhere. I'm almost there. Now I'm almost there. <laughs> and I'm like, 
Holly freaking Luya, I'm almost there. I'm almost done with college. I almost have that degree in my hand. I just gotta hang on a little longer, dig a little deeper. I gotta dig a little deeper. Oh, yeah. I love dig a little deeper. <laughs> yeah, no, that actually was my favorite song because I love that message that there are things you want in life, but there are things you need. And that was played out beautifully. Like, it's it's oh, incredibly yeah. gospel. Like, I can't stand that kind of music, but this was a very, very, be like, beautifully written song that needed to be heard. And that's the oh. thing I love about that film, is that it doesn't jab at the cliches. It brings a reality check to them. Like, you have Tiana wishing upon a star, but the parent, like, the father says to her, what you want in life comes hard work. Yeah, but don't, he also added, just so long as you don't lose what's important. Mm -hmm. Don't lose sight of what's important. That, yes, it's okay to have a dream. And it's okay to wish on a star or pray or whatever it is you do. But don't... But yes, you got to put a little hard work in. That's a fact. But never, ever lose sight of what's really important. And that's love. That's family. Enjoying life. Friendship. All of that. And I can't begin to tell you how many times where I suffered that problem and I was blinded by my work and my goals that I actually hurt people I loved and I lost sight of what was important on many occasions. <sighs> I know that is a great movie and I still love it. I actually watched it a few weeks ago. <laughs> I was going to ask if you had showed A on it yet because I knew he would seen it before. Uh Oh. He's not seen it before? Yeah, like he, he won. Saw, I think he watched a little bit of it with me. Did he at least that's see Friends thing. on the Other Side? And then, of course, you have the villain song. Now, that's that has to be Dr. Wolf's favorite villain song. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Are you ready? No, I'm not Don't ready! Don't you disrespect me, little man. <laughs> Don't You're you derogate my world now, not ride. you. Are we just going to go on like a tyrant, <laughs> like a tyrant of singing songs? It's fun! It's such a good song. Such a good villain he, okay. song, man. And it's As Halloween! Yeah, no, no, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. If you if you find singing songs fun, I dare you to watch those challenge videos that tell you try not to sing. Oh, I've done those before. Those oh. are hard! <laughs> oh. It's like, don't oh. sing, don't sing, don't sing, don't sing, don't sing! <laughs> yeah, no, like, I'm watching one of those videos, and I'm like, don't sing, don't sing. It means no worries for the rest of your days. Like, the temptation is just big. It's mm, a stupid <laughs> song. It's overrated, and yet I sing it anyway. The part, where, the part where Simba sings, that's, like, the only part I like in that song. Yeah, me too. Ugh. Well, I also like, um, let's see, I just can't wait to be king, and um, be prepared. There's just some songs that, like, really bellow it out like from the heart that i really like to sing like one of them was yeah i'm almost there or ariel's i don't know when i don't know how but, but i, I feel so something starting right now what can you see and Someday copyright i'll be God, we're <laughs> God, you're just, you just you just went all the way with that song. I went all the way because the lungs on that girl. Woo! <laughs> yeah, Jody Benson definitely oh. had some lungs. Jody she got Benson, some lung power, man. and I'm jealous, and I just want to belt it out just like she does because I love it. Do you think she still has that good of a voice, even though she's oh, like... Oh, she does. She still surprisingly has like At a the age of 58, voice. she's still able to sing that good. Yeah, like... She's how old? She's almost 50. 60. Yeah. Oh. Oh, so she's my mother's age. Oh. <laughs> so oh, she was. Awesome. So your mother was born in 1961. Uh, actually, my mom was born in 1959. Okay, so that's like two years off. Benson, according to what the year is, like, um, I'm guessing she's 28, or maybe mm -hmm. 20. No, 58. Why did I miscalculate that? God damn it! I was gonna say, where you're talking about when the movie came out. <laughs> yeah, because she was in her late 20s when the movie was out. Okay, my mom had me when she was at least 33. She's turning 60 this year. Oof. 
but yeah, okay, we're we're off track again. <laughs> well, that's what you call a post show. Yeah. <laughs> that's all, folks. Yep. <laughs> okay. So she's gonna be fifty eight in five days. She was born October tenth, nineteen sixty one. October 10th, 1961. My mom was born October 25th, 1959. Ha! My born mom's in the same, God, how much more coincidences are we going to have here? <laughs> that's, it's not, I mean, it's not like they were, I mean, they're close, but by they're off by two years. That's, I just find that interesting. Any Disney Descendant fans? Nah. No. Didn't what what does it. that mean? Uh, Disney Descendants was a TV series spinoff of... Um, of like, there's people who have been associated with villains and such. Like my 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 knowledge on it like, is very minimal. Like okay, well I clearly is, don't know It's like about the it. the daughters and sons of the villains from the Disney universe, like Maleficent's daughter, or like uh, who oh. is it? Like Jaf- Jafar and one other person's son or daughter. I, I I forget it. I just remember it being like really bad. Never heard of this. This sounds silly. Stuff that happens on the Disney Channel, I don't care nearly yeah. as much as I do with the movies. This sounds silly and fake. Yeah. No, it's real. It's it's they've made three films now. It sounds fake to me. Even if they did make it still fake. <laughs> I don't believe in Liz? its existence. Liz, you're talking about the same company who made something called High School Musical. Shut up! We don't acknowledge that. We're all in <laughs> together. <laughs> I mean, I'm the person who also brings up fucking Chicken Little, so. You fool! <laughs> it's the end of the world. Put a fucking can in it, Riley. <laughs> you fool! We could still have fun when we're off the stream, you know? Okay. okay. <laughs> you sound so defeated saying that. <laughs> I just, I'm just i just imagining li- a little bliss clinging to your leg and having... Like, well, I'm small enough stuff. to do it. <laughs> Yeah. She fu- no, she'll fucking no, no she teleports no I still love that moment where during that stream of Mario's missing I'll teleport on your head ba 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 and it's like a hat ba 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 moron ba 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 moron anyways uh, for anybody watching the post show thank you for sticking around or watching this on my second channel. Um, you fools! <laughs> <laughs> You're a fool if you don't subscribe to my second channel. Okay, that's just that's that's that's. Oh, wow! Oh you wow! You are fools if you don't subscribe. Shame on you! Shame on pain your family. Dis- uh, dishonor on you! Dishonor on your family! Dishonor on your cow! Subscribe. <laughs> Love you. <laughs> Not really, but yeah, uh, thank you for sticking around. I'll catch you guys later. (laughs) Bye-bye, everybody. Yeah, later.